Hey guys, it's Dutchie. I had planned to be travelling Queensland right about now, visiting many railways, taking lots of footage up there, meeting new people. As you can tell, I'm not in Queensland right now. With the recent border closures, I'm stuck at home. Yay! So instead, we're going to be looking at upgrading the audio setup on my GoPro. I wasn't real happy with how the audio was, so I bought some bits and pieces, and that's what we're going to look at in this episode. If you like content about mini trains, model trains, give this video a big thumbs up, click on the subscribe button, and hit that bell. Welcome to the Mill Railway Company. With the help of my friend Ali, I got some mugs and shirts done for the mill. But that's not why we're here. We're here to look at my audio upgrades. First off, we have the standard GoPro dongle. There's the USB-C plug. And what it gives you is USB-C and a three and a half millimeter audio jack, which is where the new microphone plugs in. For the microphone, we have this thing by Saramonic. I don't think it's real special. I saw it in someone's video. To be honest, I can't even remember whose video it was in. Oh look, stickers. Try to throw something on camera, it doesn't even cooperate. Microphone with a nice joint in it. That'll make it very easy to fit. I'm certainly not an audio professional, and the microphone is cheap, but at least it comes with a windsock. The thing that's going to make all this magic happen is the Ulanzi or Ulanzi or I don't even know how to pronounce it. GoPro 8 vlog cage. I'm glad it came in bubble wrap. The four year old loves bubble wrap. She will play with that forever. Here's the thing that goes on the bottom of the GoPro that lets you screw it onto things. A couple of screws and Allen keys and the cage itself. I don't know what these are called. It's a mount for lenses or lens caps. Here's where your battery door goes. And this bit down here is where we put the dongle. When we plug the dongle in, plugs in right there. It's got two hot shoe mounts, one on the side here, one on the top. Yeah. This piece on the top is removable. And it's there so that if you have something like a Rode Video Micro microphone with a big fuzzy windsock on it, just lifts it away from the sensor so you can't see it in the picture when you're filming. All right, it might be time to assemble this thing. All right, getting my phone mounted so that I could record the GoPro was nothing short of a massive pain in the ass. But here we go. Okay. Just undo here where you can see it. All right, that's Mr. Sticky gone. Over there. So 
that done. Here is the GoPro Hero 8 Black that I record with all the time. Just fold these in, bring the case over, finger in there and pull down on the door, that just slides right out. And then the magic moment. That isn't so magic because I've forgotten to take the cover off. GoPro is quite snug. You may have heard a little resistance. There's a little ball here on a spring. A little hole. And this, it just stops everything coming undone. All told, it, this is all metal. It feels very, very well made. I think I'll be quite happy with it. Need to take the standard battery door off to expose the USB-C port and then we put this one in with a nice little padded thing up here to hold the battery in snug. So that done. We just push the dongle right through here in the bottom, plug it in, that was much easier than I thought it was. And then for the microphone, just in there, you know what? I think I'm going to want that USB-C thing to be towards the back. So I'll just change that over. There we go. Now when we plug the microphone in, we can push the microphone forwards so we take audio from the front. Probably still going to want to mount it on the stick, so we just get this little thing. And of course, I pick up the wrong sized Allen key. Tell you what, assembling this thing is a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Do it up gently, a little bit more than finger tight. And this is my new vlogging setup. We'll see how this does with the microphone. If I don't like it, I might get a Rode video microphone for the top there. Tell you what, this really is awkward filming on my phone. This bit took some pushing and it still isn't in right. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. There you have it. This is what I'll be recording on from now on. Let's switch over and see how it does.
Well, it took me much longer to clean up the workbench from all that crap in the boxes than it did to set up the camera again. I really like the way it looks. I can still see the flashing light and the display on the front. The microphone points at me. Being a bit large and heavy, the GoPro tripod doesn't really like the weight and can't stay up as high as it normally is. Not really a problem, but I can see the rest of it failing soon too, so I might be up for another tripod. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions on good microphones, just drop them in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you next time.